If you're going on a cruise and wondering what to pack, sometimes it's just as important to know what you can leave at home. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now something that I try to do every time I go on a cruise is I try to evaluate what are the things that I brought on my cruise that I would pack again and what are the things that perhaps for next time I can leave at home. Now I know many people do the same. So recently I did ask in the Life While Cruise Facebook community, what are the things that you used to pack or bring on a cruise that you no longer bring? Now I got some amazing fun and helpful answers and I thought I would share them with you today. Now, something that I did want to mention is even though I did ask experienced cruisers, we are all different. We're all in different stages of life or even going on different cruise lines and itineraries. So in the end, you pack what works for you. Okay, you know the drill. Before I get started, I did want to mention that if you find this video helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Number one thing that people would no longer pack and they would leave at home is gym clothing. Now, obviously, if you go to the gym at home, bring your gym clothing when you go on a cruise. But many people said that what they did is they went on a cruise and they were kind of hopeful that they might go to the gym because the gym is a pretty nice place and they thought maybe they would work off some of those calories. However, a lot of people learned from experience that bringing the gym clothes on the cruise doesn't mean it will get them to the gym on the cruise. So if you are not somebody who goes to the gym, you may want to consider leaving your gym clothing at home. Number two, many people say they are no longer bringing water bottles on board or soda for that matter. And some people are not even bringing wine on board anymore even if they're able to. Many people say they're simply buying the beverage packages, it's just easier, and they're no longer interested in lugging those items on a cruise. Number three, I have a feeling that some of you watching may have done this or may even be thinking of doing this for a future cruise, but something that people say they are no longer doing is sneaking alcohol on board the cruise ship via their Listerine or their mouthwash bottles. Yes, some people say they use shampoo bottle flasks, rum runners, and of course that good old Listerine bottle trick. However, they are no longer doing that. And oftentimes they are getting the beverage package or the perks. Now we're all friends here and there's no judgment. So if you've ever done this in the past, please let me know in the comments below. Number four, I think this is one that we can all get behind. People are no longer ringing and I'm happy for it their vaccination cards and their negative test results. Of course, you still wanna check if you are going on a cruise to see what is necessary and required, but most cruise lines no longer require this. And I do think that this does make things a lot easier than just a year ago. Number five, jewelry to match every outfit on a cruise. Now, a lot of women did say that they used to bring a lot of jewelry on a cruise and they no longer do so. And I have to admit, I used to do that too. I used to bring earrings and a necklace and maybe a bracelet, maybe an anklet to match just about every outfit that I had for a cruise. But these days I really don't do that anymore. I'm not sure if that's because I've become a little bit more minimalist when it comes to jewelry or I'm just overpacking in other ways. But in any case, I do tend to bring a lot less jewelry than I used to bring on a cruise. Something else that people said they don't bring as much of on a cruise anymore is also makeup. They realize they can do with a lot less makeup even in the evening on a cruise than they might use at home. Number six, these are things that people no longer bring on a cruise, perhaps because times have changed a little bit. So one of those is a camera. And of course, some people still bring cameras, but many people say they now just simply use their phones. As well, there were books. Many people use their Kindle instead, or even their iPad, and they leave all of the actual heavy books at home. Now, speaking of technology, many people said they now leave their highlighter at home. So yes, in the past, a lot of people used to highlight things on their cruise compass or their daily planner. And instead these days, many people simply look on their cruise line app for the activities. Now, by the way, this list isn't in any particular order, except that I did save the last two to be the most commonly said. Number seven, some cruise essentials. Now, the thing about cruise essentials is you really only wanna bring the ones that are actually going to be helpful for you. Now, what some people said is they no longer bring the over the door organizer. 
In many cases, it was because they used to cruise with their children, and now if there are only one or two people in the cabin, they no longer need it. Now, other people said they no longer bring their towel clips. They just realized they're not hanging out at the pool very much, and they don't need them. Now, some people said they tried the magnet hooks, and they're no longer bringing them on their cruise. Now, I'm definitely not in that camp. I love my magnet hooks, but for some people, they are not a necessity on a cruise. Now, by the way, other things that people are no longer bringing on a cruise include shampoo and conditioner. Some people said that, you know what, the cruise line provides it and they are fine with it. Other people said they're bringing less medication. They used to bring like the entire kitchen sink when it came to medication. Now they bring, of course, their prescription medication. They bring their Tylenol or whatever over-the-counter medication they use and small amounts of other medications, but they no longer bring an entire big pharmaceutical pack. Number eight, people no longer bring their travel irons. If you're wondering why are people no longer bringing their travel irons, it's because they said they got confiscated the first time they went on a cruise. And of course, they now no longer bring them. Okay, so now I have number nine and 10, and these were definitely the most commonly said. And after that, I do have a few honorable mentions. So number nine, people no longer bring multiple pairs of shoes. Now I have to say, I was somebody who brought a lot of shoes on a cruise. I still probably do bring more than a lot of people say are necessary, but personally, I'm very happy with that. However, many people did say they no longer bring shoes for day, for evening, multiple pairs of shoes. A lot of people said they brought as much as 14 pairs of shoes in the past for seven nights on a cruise. What a lot of people said is that you really only need these type of shoes. You need flip-flops, sandals, or something for the pool and the beach. You need a pair of dressy shoes for the nighttime, a pair of sneakers or running shoes for walking comfortably, or for working out and everything else is a bonus. Number 10, and I know this is controversial for some, but people are no longer bringing formal wear clothing. And of course, some people are still bringing formal wear, but many more people say, even if they did in the past, if they brought tuxedos for men or suits for men, they're now really going a little bit more casual. And ladies are saying that they're no longer wearing their real evening dresses or formal gowns. Instead, they're opting for a summer dress or a church-like style dress or even something more casual. Now, the reality is most cruise lines formal nights just aren't as formal as they were in the past. And many cruise lines have even changed the wording of the formal nights to chic night, to dress your best nights, to dressy nights. So you no longer have to be as formal as you would have had to be in the past. That said, if you have bought a very fancy dress or if you were planning to wear a suit, many people do still wear this. You will not be uncomfortable if you do wear this on a cruise and you really should wear what you will feel best in while you're on your vacation. Okay, now for the honorable mentions. Diapers. A lot of people, if you're through with that phase of life, no longer have to pack diapers for a cruise. Other people said they no longer bring their kids on a cruise. And some people even said they no longer bring their husbands on a cruise their ex-wives on a cruise, their mother-in-laws on a cruise. Extra hangers. The cruise line always has more hangers and you can always ask your cabin attendant. There's no reason to bring that on a cruise. And finally, people are leaving their troubles and their worries at home, which I think is the very best thing to not bring on a cruise. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What are the things that you are no longer bringing or packing for a cruise? Please let me know down in the comments below. And let me know, by the way, if you are bringing formal wear still for your cruises. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.